guys, Mr. Free Queener coming back to you again today. I hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, uh, yeah, another <laughs> extended amount of time that I have not made a video, but just to let you know, uh, the situation I was in before, I don't know if you really call it a situation, it was just that I was living in a place, and um, that particular place, because I sold my house, um, was not really conducive to making videos. Uh, so I had to just essentially, I made a couple videos out of there, but it just wasn't working out well. So now I'm in a different place. Now I'm able to make more videos in a more uh, calm environment. So, uh, so yeah, here I am. Now, before I get into really what I want to talk about, I just wanted to go over the market a little bit. Um, as you know, we've seen in the last what, day or so, uh, things have been a little volatile, all right, uh, volatile, as, as, as I should say it. And um, Bitcoin dropped down there, as you can see, a bit. I think it went down to like 66,000. Um, everything had a dip, and it's to be expected. Lots going on in the world. I think this kind of coincided, this dip coincided with uh, I think it was Israel attacking Iran. Uh, now, I don't know if that was the main reason why. There's, you know, always some event tied to it. But either way, uh, it could obviously cause some type of fear if people sell during fear, uh, fearful times. So, uh, that being said, um, as you see now, the market looks to be kind of recovering. It was, uh, it, it's been kind of mostly green all day uh, we're getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of dropping uh, here and yeah that's it I mean XRP even though it has not been really doing a whole lot there's a lot going on on the R XRPL so that's a good thing we could see some uh, some things happen now you know one thing that one, one coin that really has surprised me is Tron right now one time I think I had Oh man, I, I don't, I can't even remember how many I had. I think I had over, uh, I'm not even going to say, I had a lot of them. I had over, you know, a few hundred thousand of them. And um, I ended up selling because, uh, now this was years ago, uh, because of some of the things that were going on. But I don't know, Tron might be a play. I don't, I don't know. It, it, we'll see. We'll see. I might jump back in uh, if I can, see, if I can get a, a nice buy. I think I probably should have. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. I probably should have jumped in about here. No, I take that back. No, that's still not a good buy for me. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's outside my. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's been a while. But I, I bought. Uh, I I was buying Tron back during the three cent, two cent days back in here. So. Yeah, either way, it's, it's, not, it's not doing too bad. Uh, so, so, yeah. And, of course, XRP is, still has us waiting, all that stuff going on with the appeals and filings and whatnot. You know, there's always some uh, uh, drama around XRP. And Doge, obviously Doge is probably going to see something. I'll tell you this. If Trump gets elected, Doge is going to, probably see a, uh, uh, quite a bump. Now, in some of the um, uh, rallies that, that, that Elon has been a part of, they've slightly mentioned, or they, they've said Doge, <laughs> right? A couple different people have said Doge without giving any context or anything like that or saying anything else. They just said Doge. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right. Now, besides that, Besides that, let's let's just talk about what's going on, um, kind of the elephant in the room. So here we are at the at, at the four year mark. We got another election at hand, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think anything significant is going to happen until after the election. I think there's a lot of apprehension about what may happen. Um, I think uh, the only way we're going to see anything long lasting. Uh, well, we'll say, I think we're gonna we could see something good either way, but long lasting, uh, something that will uh, take us into the next couple years, maybe 
up to, you know, four or five years, something like that, will be if Trump gets elected. If Kamala gets elected, I think we'll see a bump the first, I don't know, first few months or, you know, immediately. But long term, I think it's going to be things, everything's going to be screwed up. Uh, look at the four, last four years. I mean, some of you may support her. I don't know. But look, I, I pay attention to the you know, economy. I pay attention to everything going on. And a blind man could see the fact that all these things that have happened, we've had uh, ships uh, running into bridges. We've had longshoremen, uh, you know, going on strike and our president saying he's not going to even get involved with it. We got millions, tens of millions of, you know, people who shouldn't be here, right? Who shouldn't be here, here. And they are receiving funds, our funds, right? The money that we put in. So this is a bad thing, right? Now, I think the only way this is going to be rectified, the only way we're going to see good things is if the person who actually cares about the country is elected. Now, I believe that is going to happen, uh, but you never know. I mean, there's there's a possibility of another 2020 going on, you know, something pretty significant, possibly, I guess. Um, and, you know, you just never know. A lot of shenanigans going on. And to be honest with you, I think uh, if he does get in, if Trump gets in, um, there's going to be some 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 drama after the fact uh, we could see a kind of a summer of 2020 uh, situation going on a lot of unrest a lot of everything now if the other way around you know if kamala gets in you know the the right wing is not really going to go go nuts right it's just the other side that if they don't get their way they go a bit crazy so i don't know who knows what's going to happen <laughs> but um, let's just see. I mean, and again, I just hope the person with with some sane and, and good ideas for the, the future, our future, actually uh, gets in there. So uh, outside of that, if you have been watching some of the rallies, um, you'll notice that uh, there's some things that have been alluded to. Now, of course, Trump has said no tax on tips, no tax on overtime, no tax on Social Security. So uh, we know about that. And that's huge. That's huge. I mean, if you look at how much you're taxed on overtime, it's it's like far more than your tax on your regular rate. I think uh, overtime, it's like uh, 40 something percent, 43 to 46 percent, something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, so. That would be great. I mean, companies uh, would even, I think it, it would be more likely uh, that you can, you could get overtime. And then on top of that, with the, you know, more drilling, with the, with the um, tariffs. Now, let me, let me explain a little bit of something about the tariffs that a lot of people are, are saying, you know, from the left, especially well, you're going to make the prices go up. I mean, first of all, <laughs> everything is up as it is, right? Without any tariffs, okay? Without what Trump is talking about. But what will happen, right? What will happen is with these tariffs and with things being made here in this country and companies building their production for the facilities in the U.S., it will make things less expensive, not to mention we're going to have more jobs. You're going to have more money in your pockets anyway because he's going to cut the ta cut our taxes. And um, with all that, on top of, uh, well, rather on top of all that, energy prices will be lower. So the immediate effect of why we have such high inflation in the first place will will change right that whole situation will turn around because when you make energy cheaper right when you make oil cheaper it makes everything else cheaper because remember when all of this first started they started talking about 
gas prices going up and then these companies having to charge more because of the cost that they were incurring. So they passed it on to us. Now, that is going to affect things. You know, it's going to take a little while. It's not going to be an absolutely immediate uh, effect. But I'd say within the first year, like Trump is saying, we'll, we'll start to see a huge difference in um, what we're spending, uh, you know, all of that stuff, right? All of that. So, so yeah, another thing on top of the, you know, the, the tax cuts he's talking about, there's something else that it seems that they could be alluding to. Now, one thing that we don't need at all are income taxes. Income taxes don't go to anything that you are involved in, right? Your income, what they take out of your check every week, month, two weeks, whatever it might be, has nothing to do with anything you interact with. All of that money goes to the central banks, goes to the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve obviously is not federal. It's a privately owned business or these are privately owned banks, right? So they use that money. Um, basically, it's the U.S. Uh, uh, paying off the, the, the loans that, you know, that they've taken out, the government has taken out. So, so yeah, it has nothing to do with anything that we deal with other than that. We don't take the loans out ourselves. It is just, it's really, it's just theft. Now, what does affect the things you deal with is um, uh, the taxes you pay on products. Like, so when you go and you buy, you know, uh, a car, you pay taxes on that, right? So that tax actually goes towards things that you interact with. Another thing that's not, that really doesn't help us because those taxes right there should take care of everything. Say if there's a 10% tax um, on every product that you buy, okay? Uh, you know, obviously it's called sales tax, but you, got, you get your, uh, whatever it might be, all of these products, right? And you're not paying any other taxes that is absolutely fine with me because you only pay a tax when you buy something, right? So when those taxes are taken out, you're, uh, you're basically seeing the effect of that going back into your roads, into the uh, infrastructure that your state is having to deal with. So there's a whole lot, you know, to, to go into about tax. I'm not going to try to do that here. Uh, there's a lot I don't know, uh, but these are things that you can easily look up and find out for yourselves. Uh, all in all, um, I think what we all want is a less difficult time just trying to live, right? Uh, lower prices, higher wages. I mean, it's very possible. So hopefully things turn out the way uh, or Hopefully things turn out in a way that will benefit us. All right. With all that being said, guys, I, I really don't have anything else. I mean, just so much going on. There's a lot of stuff I could go into, but I'm just not going to simply because there's too much. And yeah, there's gonna, there are going to be other videos. So I'll be back. Hopefully at least a couple times a week, you'll hear my wonderful soothing voice so <laughs> uh again guys i hope you guys are doing well and thank you so much if you are a returning uh listener a long time listener um i appreciate just i appreciate you guys sticking around it has been a hard road since 2020 for me i mean especially um a lot of things have happened but you know what the way forward is bright and shiny so let's just move in that direction all right guys um it's been great and until next time this has been mr free coiner take care of yourselves and god bless <laughs>